Living the rural life out in the country has many, many benefits. We love it. Plenty of space. We have land. We have animals. We can pretty much do what we want. However, for many of us that are in this type of lifestyle, we deal with things like no internet or very slow internet and maybe one bar cell service. Now, yes, things are getting better and there's more options coming about, but for those of us who also work at home or homeschool, then we need to find solutions that are gonna work. So what I wanted to do, some areas on the property, I can get okay download speeds through my LTE and 5G connections through AT&T, but I wanted to increase that. Now we have a two story home, so yes, we have a little bit of elevation, and upstairs I do get a pretty good connection, and I've seen speeds on 5G, even with one bar, anywhere between 60 and 100 megabytes per second down, but upload speeds kind of are pretty horrible, between three and 10, depending on, I guess, network traffic. So really what I wanted to do is find a way to get some better speeds. So not only did I get the Netgear hotspot with its own antennas, but we're checking out an easy to install booster that is gonna boost the signal for 5G or 4G, if that's what you pick up, the LTE signal, and hopefully boost it. So if we look at on our phone and we got one bar, and our signal strength is not that great. You find out where that tower is. They have two different types. They have an Omni and they also have a directional if you know where the tower is. And what that's gonna do is that's gonna increase your DB sensitivity on your phone. It's gonna increase the signal and hopefully also give you better speeds, connections, sending text messages, less drop calls, things like that. So we wanna show you what this booster has done for us. So we've been checking out the Bolton Technical Victory Unit. Now this is an omnidirectional antenna and signal booster for your cell phone. Works with 4G and 5G, depending on what signal you're gonna get. Now this is what comes in the box. Now that omnidirectional will help you if you have towers that maybe you can't really figure out where they exactly are. So it will pick up the signal. It may not be as strong as a directional antenna, but it's still gonna end up doing a great job, especially if you have uh, a clear high view for where this is being positioned outside. Now this here in the box, now this is the actual booster unit. So that uh, antenna, which I'm gonna show you in a minute, that goes outside, runs into this. This is gonna boost that signal. So you can see this, this is actually pretty heavy. Uh, all metal there, and it will require a plug. Now this unit has to go inside or in a waterproof location. You don't want that really outside, anything like that. You can mount this part on the wall. So it does have a good amount of weight, easy to set up. All you do is plug it in and it will start going. This right here is the indoor antenna. So what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna read the directions and separate this antenna from the other antenna. That way you don't have any crossover in the signal, which could give you some oscillation problems, but if you have it set properly, it may take a while to figure out that ideal uh, exact amount of uh, separation, but this is what you're gonna need to do. So that right there is the indoor antenna, some other mounting brackets, and this is the outdoor antenna here, which is the omnidirectional one that can be mounted anywhere and then run back into the house to that booster and the internal inside antenna, which is gonna ideally boost your DB on your phone. Now, Bolton Technical really gives you everything that you need to get started. You may end up needing a little bit longer cable, but that's depending on your situation. You can see here, I'm running a speed test. This was just hooked up to my phone. I was getting between one and two bars. There was no signal booster. The download speed, of course, depending where I'm at in the house, I get different download speeds, but this was a pretty good one. I saw 54, but you can see, Upload really struggles. I range from between two and three. I peaked maybe three and a half. It was just a nightmare. So with the signal booster between not dropping calls as much and hopefully getting a better speed, I hooked it up. Did not do a permanent install because I want to find the best location for it. But you can see this. This is all connected pretty much just on shelves, really temporary. And then I installed it on a boom pole on top of the basketball hoop just to get it really high up there, just to get me a good signal to work with. And I started it up and just right away, 
you can see like the download speeds, they drop slightly, but I'm still working on finding the best location. The drop really is not that much. And depending on the time of day and network traffic, it's going to still fluctuate a little bit, but it was really close. But look at that upload speed. That's almost like three times of what I was getting. So I'm super happy with that performance right there. Now, this right here, we're looking at the RSRP. Now, this is what they tell us that they really work with and identify. So the lower that negative number, the better. So we went from about 100 something down to negative 66. And essentially what that's showing us is that the signal booster is working. It's taking that LTE or 5G signal, boosting it, and giving us a better signal quality overall. And because it is that negative number, yes, the lower the negative number, the better. So we start with 100. We wanted to see down to like negative 66 or even better like that, getting closer to that zero mark. So while it did increase our signal strength and really no drop calls, and we have seen better speeds with the booster being installed, but for the most part, what the company does say is they don't guarantee that you're gonna get better speeds or, or something like that, but the guarantee really is that it's gonna increase that signal strength and take the signal that's out there and boost it to help alleviate things like drop calls with the possibility of helping to boost speeds. Now with more and more services coming, whether it's satellite services or other cell services, uh, more tower bandwidth opening up, we may see that. Hopefully one day fiber will come in here, but maybe by that point, then these other cell services and signals and satellite may be just as fast. I don't know if that's the case, great. But for right now, this is doing everything that we need with an increase in our speed for download, upload multiple people on the network using a hotspot with the booster, also using it with our cell phones, and it works really great. Now, install is pretty easy. If you want to get it up high, you can probably get a, a pole, or if you feel comfortable, you can put it up on top of the house, anything like that. It's totally up to you, but you just need to find where that perfect signal is using some applications out there, some free websites. Find out where those cell towers are and install it, test it out, and hopefully you're going to be good to go just like us. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next video.